Cost basis calculation for investments. This is Ken Boyd. So what is cost basis in stock? Well, fortunately, common stocks and mutual funds trade in shares. So we'll walk through an example of cost basis in stock. Let's assume you share, uh, you sell 100 shares of IBM at $70 per share. And we'll ignore the fact about short selling that you can read about here. So let's say you own the shares, you sell them at $70 per share. You check your trade confirmation, which documents what sell transaction you made for the IBM purchase and sale. There's two pieces of information you need for cost basis calculation. The first is the date of the purchase, how long you've held the security. That's because the tax code may tax long-term gains at a different rate than short-term gains. And the tax code changes from time to time. Long-term gains are considered to be more than one year. If you bought the IBM five years ago, your gain or loss would be long-term. The rates on long-term and short-term gains may be different depending on the current tax law. Second thing you need is the price paid per share. Let's assume that you pay $60 a share for your IBM stock. If so, your gain would be $70 sale price plus $60 cost basis or $10 gain per share. So your total gain would be $10 times $100 times 100 shares equals $1,000 long-term gain. Now, many people per make investment purchases on different dates. And there's several reasons why. Let's say that you invest money each month and those dollars are used to purchase more shares of a mutual fund. You can read about that on my website. On the other hand, let's say you might decide to purchase 20 shares of IBM stock on five different dates over a five-year period. We'll see an example of that shortly. And finally, let's say you instead that you participate in a retirement plan. 401k, a lot of people use a 401k as a good example. Let's say that each month you contribute 2% of your pre-tax salary in your retirement plan. Your employer matches an additional 2% on your behalf. So you're investing the equivalent of 4% of your salary into an investment each month. And those dollars are used to purchase stocks, bonds, or mutual funds. So you're buying over time on multiple purchase dates. So the question is, what is the cost basis under this situation? And the answer is by calculating the weighted average cost. So to illustrate this concept, let's think about those 100 shares of IBM you bought on five different dates over time. So here are the dates, the shares, and the price you pay. The calculation is a two-step two process. First, you multiply the shares by the price on each purchase date. And second, you add up the total dollars you invested each time, and divide by the total number of shares you purchased. So in this example, Weighted average cost is $6,600. Total dollars invested divided by 100 shares, the total shares you bought, equals a $66 average cost, which is your cost basis. So where do you find this information? Well, this used to be hard. Fortunately, the investment industry now does a much better job of providing cost basis data. So you could look at your trade confirmations, so that confirm that you've made a particular transaction. But most people don't keep all that detail for years and years and years. So instead, in today's world, most people have cost basis listed on their investment statements. So if it lists all your investments, it shows you the cost basis. <clears throat> you may be able to log into your account and find that information, or you get them in hard copy, or get them emailed to you each month. And if all else fails, you can call your financial advisor. So finally, where are gains and losses taxed? They're taxed on Schedule D of the personal tax return. Now keep in mind that those retirement plan dollars may have gains that are tax deferred or tax exempt. So check with your accountant or tax advisor to get that information as to whether it's taxable or not right now. And for more information on accounting and finance, you can go to conferenceroom.com at this address.